right, welcome Holla. back to another episode of Let's Be Real Podcast. We are your hosts, Juan and Tyler. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure you know you were you. I am me and you are her. Him. I am her. Him? What? You are you. And I, I am, am us. Me. And I am telling you. <laughs> I've already told you. <laughs> yes, this is episode 51. Yes, it is 51s. 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 We have 51s. That's all we need. What did Craig say? I was born mid-80s. It's my genre. Is that what he said? That's not even a genre. That's just a decade. <laughs> so, yeah. So, tonight we're discussing our top 10 favorites. Uh, 80 movies. 80s movies. 80 movies. Top 80, 10 80s. 80 top movie. 80 movies <laughs> that are all going to be in the top 10. But, yes. Hey, we guys, we are live on YouTube at... Uh, Let's let's be real podcast. If you do want to go over there and watch that, um, you guys should just tune in over there to um, interact with us more. I just have my Instagram live up just to direct you guys. So yes, please go over there and tune in. We're also live on the Twitch. And we're live on Twitch. So yeah, we're gonna be discussing our top ten favorite '80s movies. And yeah. I am uh, I'm a '90s kid, and I am not from the '80s, so so be interested. Basically, I am. I'm just a person. What did he say? I'm a gingy. Basically, brat pack. Sure, okay. whatever makes you, whatever helps you sleep at night. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Craig. So whatever. Because it's just you and I tonight. There's no trivia. I mean, unless you want me to ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> this can help me prepare for that. Uh. Oh, for, for what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. I'm just going to get off the live here. I'm just going to end up... Uh, I'm just going to monitor the YouTube from here so I can see who is that. Who's it? It's all on Twitch. Hi, from Brazil. Hey, how's Isabella. It going? How's it going? Right? From Brazil. That it, Isabel? That's from Brazil. Back we to the future better hey. be on the list. It's the best one. That's what they say. Can you see it? Yeah. Back to the future better be on the list. Yep. Right, you know what? You're well, you might have you have to stick around and find out. I'm gonna monitor Twitch. That's awesome. Um, welcome. Yeah, if you like if you like the content, uh, go ahead and give us a follow on Twitch, and just you know subscribe to YouTube, whatever. Yeah, we appreciate the the love. Well, yes, and you will f- have to find out if uh, Back to the Future is on the list. I think it is. You think so? I think so. So do, do you have a? Dad joke prepared this week? Oh, man, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I don't have a dad joke prepared this week. It's been a long week. Really? Uh, yeah, I just went back to work, you know. I, I got a new job. Um, so, you know, so we're just, uh, I think we'll just skip a dad joke this week. I got four honorable mentions. I have three. <laughs> wow. Sorry. I, I like you're such a jerk. No, it, this, like I said, this list was hard. Well, oh, this list was hard for me to make because we always do thirteen any, total. Any of these movies could have been on on the list. But we always do thirteen. Yeah, but then, but then I I was going through my collection of Blu-rays and then I saw that one. Just and take one of your. It. Just take one of your uh, least. Just take one of the honorable mentions off. It's oh. not that hard. Just rip it off like a bandaid. All right, I'll take this one off. Which one is it? I can t- oh. I guess I can say it, right? Since I'm taking it off. Yeah, what's your? It would have been 16 candles. Oh, that's a good movie. I only had 15. <laughs> that's my dad joke of the week. That's your dad joke. You can oh, look at my list. Off Zay has followed us on Twitch. Thank you, Zay. Thank you. He's gonna probably put like. He's not even in here. Yeah, he is. He just followed us. That was that's from last week, eight days ago. Thank you, Zay. <laughs> 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 Thank you, buddy. Thank right. you. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. No. So you ready to start? You want to start this? Uh, ask them. Ask them who uh, who they want to see go first. You and me. Okay. Um, who would you like to go see first? Who would you like to go see first? Oh, I'm already canceled. You? I'm already canceled because 16 candles was in the honorable mention. Craig, this is not your list. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I guess Tyler has to go first since Craig canceled me. So who's going first, guys? You. According to Craig. Is that really how how it's going? Yeah. Really. You're going to have to go first. He said you're canceled. I'm canceled. Look at all caps. 
Well, that means you really are canceled. That means you're not even allowed to, allowed to speak. I'll just blur my face out. You're not allowed to speak. You have uh, any, any? If anybody um, watching has any of uh, you know favorite '80s movies, go ahead and uh, comment along with us. Comment them or comment them now. Oh yeah, we would love to know what your '80s, your favorite '80 movies are. '80 movies. '80 mo- your '80 favorite movies. <laughs> Put all '80 of them in there. All '80. Oh my gosh. Zay would do something like that. Silence, child. So, um, all right, I guess I'll just go first. Ready? Yeah, your first honorable mention. My first honorable, my first honorable mention. Why am I looking at my phone? <laughs> Who framed Roger Rabbit? Oh, okay. I, you know, I had that on my list and then I took it off. That's a good movie. It is a good movie. But then I saw other ones <laughs> that yeah, are better. That's exactly why you have other ones. Yeah. Was well, that just like a rabbit though? Yes. Yeah, man. What about her? Well, you know what? Let's keep this PG. No, what about her? Nope. What about... Uh, hey, quick question. Jessica Rabbit or Lola? Lola. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Lola Bunny. John Hughes movies are amazing, too. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yes, they are. That's yes. why That's why this one is on my honorable mention. They're talking about 16 Candles. I don't know. <laughs> I, like I told you earlier, I had 15. Oh, yeah, 15 candles. I had 15 candles. Okay. But 16 candles is good. Tyler screwed up, too. I'm oh, di- you're canceled, too, Tyler. We both can't talk. <laughs> Who framed Roger Rabbit? I'm sorry, but it's not good enough to be in the top ten. No, definitely not. I didn't even make it on my honorable mention. It's a good honorable mention. Like, it's a solid pick. Yeah, no, that's... A, I mean, I agree. That's a solid pick. But go ahead. What's your first honorable mention? My first, my first honorable mention, Craig's going to kill me on this one. It's the, bre- the Breakfast Club. The, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I might kill you. Oh, wow. No, listen. Mm-hmm. Suffering succotash. No, it's it's good. It's uh, it's it's a great movie. What? But there's movies that are better that are on my top ten list. For me. The Breakfast Club? Yes, sir. Don't you... Forget, Forget about me. me. Listen. As you welcome by. Come on. What? Any any day it could be in the list on the top ten, but just not today. Wow. <laughs> oh man. You shocked by you're, that? You're, you're you're literally being the lead singer from Creed. Oh, let's go there. Oh, That's where we're going today. Ah, one. What? Don't ah one me. Ah one. Oh one. No. Oh one. No. The uh, breakfast club. And they're honorable. Men- hey, at least it made a list. These are honorable mentions. These are not bad. It technically started. And hey, what do you say? Says, uh, Craig. He's upset now. Craig's upset now. Says it technically started the Disney Renaissance, except they released it under the Touchstone Pictures label. I'm upset now. <laughs> He's <laughs> upset now. I'm upset with you, Craig. Don't be upset. Don't be upset. The movie's still great. So my second honorable mention, Lethal Weapon. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. You know, the movie that everybody thinks that that's Die Hard when they see the cover. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh Die like Hard. Die hard. <laughs> no. No. It's Lethal Weapon. Wrong. wrong I'm offended. Nah, you'll, you'll be all right. You'll, you'll be, be okay. You're actually being defensive right now. You'll be okay. So what's your second honorable mention? Lethal Weapon. <laughs> is it really? Yes, it is. Why? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a great movie. It's a fun movie, man. But it ain't Die Hard. But it's a great it movie. It ain't Die Hard's. Riggs. Is Die Hard gonna even be on one of our lists? That's the question. Oh well, we'll find out. We're gonna find out. So <laughs> I put this next movie on my honorable mention because how much joy you and I get of this movie because of how bad it is. But it. It's like one of those, this movie's so bad that it's good. That it's good. Yeah. Jaws 3D. Oh, man. <laughs> Every, let's. I can't hear you guys anymore. <gasps> what? We had that problem last week. But what happened? There's nothing that would have been able to take that out. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Huh. Is there, 
Is there here? I'm gonna I'm gonna type in there and just be like, hey, we're live on YouTube. Yeah. That's weird. We had that same problem last. It's back. Okay. Yeah, we had that same problem last week, where it would go in and out. Um, but yeah, we we're also live on YouTube. Or Let's be real podcast. It could be something with um, a streamlabs that we're using to to stream to to stream to Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Probably just something. It could that, be. Probably just something I need to figure out behind the scenes. But yeah, if um, if you end up if you want to just go to YouTube, we won't. It won't uh. It won't mute. It'll keep going. Or if you want to just stay on Twitch, stick around. We appreciate that as well. But yes, I put Josh 3D because of how bad it was, but it's so good. Dennis Quaid's is extremely Je- short shorts. Dennis Quad. Dennis Quad. That's Sub- he, 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 he listened to Sebastian Meniscalco. Get your shorts mid-thigh. No, those were not mid-thigh. Those were really high. And his girlfriend had a nice wedge. <laughs> Like that nice wedge. <laughs> nice wedge, but no, that Hang movie was carpet. so my, that movie was so bad. It was so good. Like everything about that movie was good. The story was, but just the shark was just way too fake. Yeah, especially when it moves and <laughs> and it doesn't. No, it doesn't move at all, and it just breaks the glass. Yeah, it just, and then it goes in reverse too. Yeah, when it. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it makes when it goes back. <laughs> What's your number one honorable mention one? Oh, Craig. Uh-oh. My heart just sank to my stomach. Oh, all right. Well, well, well the, why? Why is that? It's the field of dreams. <laughs> the field of dreams. Field of dreams. Wow, the field of dreams. I, I, that movie's great, but hmm. I haven't seen it enough for it to be on my top ten. Field of dreams. Field is of dreams. I'm surprised. I'm kind of surprised. I think that's the only sports movie I got on here. Think. Field of Dreams. That I'm surprised. Hmm. Interesting. Why are you surprised? It's just, it's just a good movie. Oh yeah, it's good. That's why it's honorable. That means that it can be on the list, just not today. <laughs> but it could be there tomorrow. Yeah, you never know. I could watch it tomorrow. You never know. All right. So here's my number ten on my top ten list. All right, moving on. Number 10 is The Outsiders. You don't know that movie? It sounds familiar. What? I'm just kidding. Okay. Y- you know that movie? I probably do. <laughs> the Pony Boy. Pony Boy. Emilio Estevez was in this movie. Look it up. Look, look, it, look, it, look it up. Oh, okay, yeah. I know this movie. Yeah, it's like, you know, it, that's the cover of it. Yep, I see it. It was like it was like a, you know, like warriors esque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like jocks and. It's got Matt Dillon. Yeah. Matt Dillon's a good actor, and it's got a. Danny from a. Yeah, he didn't. Karate Kid, right? It's got it's got the sways. Right. Rob Lowe, Tom Cruise, Diane Lane. Tom Cruise in that movie. Yeah. Oh. Emilio Estevez. I never noticed. It's got Emilio Estevez. I didn't know there was Scientology in that movie. He did his own stunts. <laughs> there was no stunts <laughs> in that movie. <laughs> exactly. He woke up at a bowl of cereal. Stunt. All right, you ready? Yeah, what's your number 10? My number 10 is E.T. E.T.? E.T. Huh. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Little, little Drew Barrymore. Little E.T. E.T. Extraterrestrial. Extra testicle. Oh, all right. I'm sorry, guys. He he's weird. <laughs> uh, forgive him. Sorry. Brazil. We are Brazil. Please forgive him. I think of every t- when she said hi from Brazil, I just thought of Dominic Toretto. Brazil. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Too bad that movie wasn't in there. E.T.'s childhood. Yes. The heart, yes. Oh, I love E.T. That's why it's number ten. <laughs> want to know what my number ten is? You know that's that's it's the not ET. if you want to. If you're at Universal Studios in Orlando and you, you want to cool down, you cool off, go on that ride. Go on that ride. It is like it's a cool ride. It's like 32 degrees. It's in a there. cool ride. Yeah, it's, it's a cool like ride. it's like Twin Peaks beer. They claim it's, it's like 29 if you've degrees. been on if you've been on Peter Pan at Magic Kingdom. The the peanut butter? No, Peter Pan. Oh, Peter Pan. Oh, oh no, no, not the peanut butter. <laughs> that one got that one got discontinued. I'm too many nuts. It's similar to that. You fly over the town and everything. It's cool. You go to space. They say your name when you're flying. You register your name at the front, and yeah, then he they, says your name. 
He really does. That's a good one. I hope they never get rid of it. I hope not either. But it's always like 32 degrees in there. The best ride for a perfect hot day. Yeah. So. All right, Tyler, what's your number nine? It's not E. Oh, it's E.T. Is it really E.T.? Yeah, it's E.T. <laughs> My number nine is E.T., the extra terrestrial. 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 That was uh, Steven Spielberg. Yes, uh, yes, it was. That movie was, uh, like, uh, we just talked about it. Yeah. It was a good movie. So what's your number eight? No, my number nine. Your number nine. My number nine is RoboCop. Wow. Yeah. I forgot. About, I didn't forget about that movie. I just never seen it. Really? <laughs> I never I, saw RoboCop. Listen, let me, listen, I should not have watched that as a child. Lemonade. Why not? Because Red Foreman, you know, from that 70s show, he's like the main villain in that yes. movie. And he, he, um... Murphy, the cop, the main character, goes into he goes into like their hideout, whatever, mm-hmm. and they blow off his arms and his legs, both of them, with a shotgun. And you see, like, you they show it on camera and everything. The movie's rated R. It's like I should not be watching that at five years old. <laughs> yeah. What, what was your parents thinking? <laughs> My dad said, "Hey, that's a cool movie. It's a cool movie. Watch it." <laughs> see, you should find out how to blow somebody's legs off. Yeah. All Come right. with me if you want to live. And then he goes crazy at the end. That's not, the, that's not that movie. Oh, you're right. It's not. He said, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> you're under arrest. He pulls out a gun out of his thigh. How cool is that? He said, come with me if you want to live, Robocop. Listen, man. All the 80s have, have the same. A lot of them have the same, like, style of, like, one-liners. Murphy is under arrest. Want to know my number eight? Yes, sir. Little Tortilla. I'm kidding. Little Tortilla Boy. No, it's, uh, my number eight is Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Wow. My number eight. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You just upset an entire country. No, I did not. No. No. It's it's on the list. All right. Why is it so high? What do you mean? It's Back to the Future. Why is it so high? You'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Man, eight? <laughs> just, just, just hold on. Hold on here. <laughs> look, look. Please. Please. I'm not. Look. Just just hear me out. Right? Just Just wait. No. Just wait. Remember, isn't there like two or three of those movies? Yeah, number one's the best one. Okay, cool. Your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> she said all she said was it better be on the list, and it's on the list. So go ahead. All right. My number man, I eight. Just, I just looked at it. My number eight is Jaws. Which one? The first one. That's not in the eighties. Yes, it is. Nineteen seventy five. Fuck. No, it's not. It's in the seventies. No, it isn't. Is it really? She said that's right. At least it's on the list. Yeah, it's in the 70s, Juan. Oh, yeah, 1975. What is wrong with you? You can't even get no, a list. No, when I, when I looked up 80s movies, Jaws 1 was was in there. But it, now it says, okay. No, Jaws no Jaws, Jaws 2 and 3. Jaws 3 is in there. That's why I put Jaws 3 in Give me an audible. Give me an audible. Let me, uh, give me an audible. Sorry, guys. Juan's having a brain fart. He put a movie on his list that's in the 70s. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's got that better be a clip. No, it's not. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> that is gonna be one. All right, you know what? Sick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say sixteen candles. <laughs> I mean, that should. <laughs> I mean, what's your uh? So, what movie you were placing that with? Oh man. I was so confident in that too. <laughs> You're like Jaws. That's not an '80s. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I came on to that quick. Man, sorry guys. Just give one. A, just give one a second. <laughs> give me a second here. Do I have that one on here? Guys, throw some '80s movies. <laughs> Help Whatever. me out here. Help me out here. What? Uh, what? What's some good '80s movies? I heard you just repeat on YouTube. I was so confident in that. You know what? Oh. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna be, I'm I'm gonna go with sixteen candles. You have every right to. Yeah, sixteen candles. That's it. Number eight. Change it on here for the history books. All right, so that means I'm saying 60 Candles is better than Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, to me, it is. For the history books. 
That was your number eight? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm looking at my list. Yep. My number seven. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Marooney. No, Ghostbusters. <laughs> yes. Marooney? Ghostbusters is number seven for me. Wow. 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 What's your number seven one? I just looked at it and I forgot. <laughs> My number seven is Terminator. Oh, the first one. Come with me if you want to live. Nope, that's the second one. Come with him if you want to live. Nope. Go with her. No, <laughs> the first one. Go with him. He go. He comes to the door. He goes, Sarah Connor. Yes, and then he just pulls out a shotgun and shoots whoever that was. It wasn't the Sarah Connor that he was looking for. You're right. That's for sure. You're right. First Terminator, only because the uh, second Terminator came out in the nineties. Otherwise, it'd be on the list. That is true. It's a good movie. The first one or the second one? Both of them. Both. That's it. That's what it, they should have stopped there. They should I not agree. have made the next I agree. three after that. I agree. So my number six, right? Yep. Is Die Hard. Die Hard. It's the only Christmas movie on my list. Yeah, that is a Christmas movie. It is a Christmas. I don't care what nobody's saying. It's a Christmas movie. That hard. He writes ho, ho, ho on a sweater. He says ho, ho, ho and bang, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Little ho, ho, ho. But so, go ahead, buddy. My number six? Yes. Die Hard. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that's the second time tonight. Exactly. All right. <laughs> There's a chance we get number three. There's a chance we get three. The, um, I like how the limo ride, the limo driver was like there the whole time. He was bumping tunes in the back. Mm-hmm. Didn't know what was going on above him. He was just having a good time. And the couple times was eating turkeys. I wrote two of the same movies on this list. That's, I, just, I just realized that they're both from the seventies. No, no, the same movie. <laughs> they're oh. both from the eighties. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, I just marked one off. Just marked it off. And are you gonna, re- are you gonna replace it with something? Yeah, because it's the second, it's the same one. I've already said this movie. That's. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Die Hard. That's a that's a that's a fun movie, fun Christmas movie. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Bruce. All right, number five. Back to the Future Two. You think two is better than one? Now that I think about it, <laughs> no, it's not. I just messed up. <laughs> I should I should have put two at the first at what I had number one at. Yes. The first one's better. Sorry. Please forgive me. Brazil. <laughs> no, the first one is better. It's way better. That's my favorite one. I, like I said, I messed up. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, it should be. Oh, say can you see? What movie is that from? When they when they when the, when the guys are like, hey. Hey, man, you're singing the song wrong. It's Jose, Can You See? <gasps> it's about a Spanish guy. Oh, I don't remember. That's uh, Angelus in the Outfield. He's like, Jose, oh, yeah. Can You See? You know, it's been it's been forever since I've seen Angels in the Outfield. Is it on Disney Plus? What? I, th- is it, I think it's on Disney Plus. Yes, That's it a is. Disney movie. Yes, I'm going to have to watch it. But go ahead, Juan. Give us your number five. We're going, we're like really going through these. Yeah, because we didn't have trivia or dad joke or anything. <coughs> My number five is five. The Thing. Wow. I got to have a horror movie on here. Somewhere. My that, horror movie was just. Because they call it horror thriller. Oh, okay. No, but The Thing. That, man. That movie. Just just the <clears throat> John, Carp- John Carpenter. What he does John with. Carpentry. What he does with um, the practical effects in that movie. Still hold up. Like, everything's like robotic. And yes. like there in person, like people are like, you gotta watch that movie. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen it. It's it's one of my favorite horror movies. W- one of your favorites? Yeah. Oh, okay. I I didn't even know that. Yeah, the original, the thing, not the remake that came out in like 2012. Okay. Yeah. That one's good. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here first, folks. It is good. All right. My number four. Gotta go this. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. You know, 
I had Star Wars on my list, but I was like, I talk about Star Wars all the time. And that's why I mentioned earlier, there's more than one on there that I could put for yeah. the 80s, but I was like, I just wanted the one. Yeah. I just, But I just felt like I had to because it's... It's like the best sequel ever made. Oh, you can't see it. No, you can't see it. Juan, what is your number four? My number four is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Oh, okay. That That movie is good, man. Really good movie. It was fun. And then I watched the new Indiana Jones. Um, that one was pretty good. It's um, I forgot what it was called, but I watched it on Disney Plus. It was actually pretty one? good. Yeah, the new one. Um, way better than the fourth one that came out with uh, Shia LaBeouf, and there was like aliens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one, this one was kind of like it felt like it could have fit in with. The original ones, the original three. That's good. I gotta check it out though. Yeah, original three or four? I think it's four, three, original three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Temple after, of, after Temple of Doom is the Last Crusade. That's the one with Shia LaBeouf. No, it's nineteen eighty nine. Okay, the one, so Shia the LaBeouf, they got Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That's and the one with Dial aliens. Of Dynasty. Dial of Dynasty. That's the new one. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Destiny. Yeah, I don't know who Destiny is, but no, she better di- dial up. She gonna dial it up. <laughs> But my number three is uh, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's a good one, too. Yeah, that's, the, that's, that's a classic. It's the first one. That's right. when they're looking for the Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's the first one. Don't touch the box. Don't touch you're the turn box. turn the sand. Or you're going to die. You're yeah. going to die with the box. Touch the box, you die. That's like the most infamous like scene where like he puts the bag of sand for the, for the golden monkey. Mm-hmm. The ball rolls after him. Yep. The second one, mine, was the one where the guy, like, he punches the guy in the chest and rips his heart out. <laughs> yes, he did. And the movie's PG. I'll never forget that. <laughs> I thought that was a bit much for PG movies. That's why it's on my list. <laughs> and it's really good. I'm interested to see if, if we're going to get three on one list. Three? That are, like, going to be the same. So, my number three? Yes. So, you, you said your number three already, right? Mm-hmm. My number three is Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. The first one. All right. I, I can rewatch that movie all the time. I don't know about the second one. Nah, just stick I I usually just rewatch the first one. The second one's good, you know, but the second one that's kind of like iconic. She opens the refrigerator, she's got that she's got she can see into that little world mm-hmm. that ends up that ends up taking over. Um speaking of Ghostbusters, the um afterlife movie that came out a few years ago with Paul Rudd is getting a sequel. It's coming out this year and the one Afterlife was really good, and I can't wait to watch this next one. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That is a good movie. Yep. Hmm. So, you're number two, sir. Full Metal Jacket. Ooh. You ever seen that movie? I, I've seen... Yes, I have. That's, like, the one I've with the most infamous, like, quotes from the... Like, when you see, like, the old military movies, all the quotes are from that movie. Yes, sir. I, um... Man, Full Metal Jacket. What a movie! You remember that movie? I remember. I remember pieces of it. Just want to read you a quote from that movie. Just want. I used to laugh at this movie. Really? Like it's a good movie, but just like, not during the movie, but like when you quote these, when you say these quotes outside of the movie, like it's kind of funny. Like. He's like, um, I am I am Gurney Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to, and the first and last words out of your filthy sewers <laughs> will be, Sir, do you maggots understand that? Sir, yes, sir. B.S., I can't hear you. Sound off like you got a pair. Like, just, just very, like, quotable lines that my grandfather would say. And that's why that movie just makes me... Uh, then there's a lot of quotes here, but that dude, uh, Sergeant Hartman, he quote he he just every he's so quotable so. It's, but yeah. All right, <laughs> my um my number two. These num- <laughs> I'm sorry, I just read a quote. Can I read it? Go ahead. He says, uh. He said, how tall are you, private? 
Private Cowboy says, Sir, five foot nine, sir. Sergeant Hartman says, Five foot nine? I didn't know they stacked crap that high. <laughs> like, that, like, it's that original, like, army. It's, uh, I love it, man. But go ahead. What's your number two? So, my number one and number two. Dos can, amigos. My number one and number two are, like, interchangeable. Like, they, they both could be number one. But okay. for this list, it's Aliens, the sequel. Say it again. Alien. Alien. No, is not Alien. Aliens. Aliens is number two. Alien came out in the 70s. That's your second movie. Yeah. It's your number two. Okay. Aliens. Yeah, we're not going to get a number three. That one is... Yeah. that. That's so good. Newt. The, uh, Newt and, and Ellen and Ripley in the water together and like the... They, Isn't the one where it comes out the stomach? No. That's the first movie, right? They all... They all yeah, they all do. When the lady was giving birth or whatever. Oh, yeah. that's the third one. They all, they, I mean, they all burst out of the chest yeah. in every movie. But, um, out of people? Yeah, out of the chest of the person. The face hugger, and then it lays the egg, and then once once the egg hatches, it busts out of the chest. Goes running around. I wonder how painful that is. Oh, that's painful. <laughs> um, that's the one with um, Bill Paxton, and they're doing the knife in between the fingers. Mm-hmm. He's going super fast, and he's screaming. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. The movie's really good. That's a that's a James Cameron classic. James Cameron, huh? Yep. Well, we gotta write him a letter. We should. Say. It's just gonna say A. Make a Titanic too. Just say A. There's your letter. So I doubt that our number, I doubt our first movies, like our number ones, are the same. They're not. What are the chances? Um, out of uh, well, out of twenty. Out of 50. You have to rearrange your whole list if that is for mine. You know what I mean? If you match me, you have to rearrange your whole list. You think so? Yes, sir. I do think so. <sighs> All right. Well, my number one is probably, in my opinion, and probably just one of the best movies ever made. Um, usually when I say that, people don't think so. <laughs> but I'm going to go with uh, my number one is Scarface. I knew that was going to be on your list. I was making mine and I was like, I know Tyler's gonna put Scarface on this. <laughs> hey, bro, bro, you need people like me. You need people. You need people like me. You need somebody you could point your fingers at and say, that's the bad guy. When all of you are bad, none of you guys are good. You guys are just good at hiding. Bro, that, that, that scene where he's like, it's the last time you see a guy like me. Ugh. Take it easy. That, that scene, bro, getting just yelled at? gets me every... What? When's he getting yelled at? Take it easy. Hey, take it easy. <laughs> I said no kids! Bro, that scene was crazy. They are about to blow up a car full of kids. And he's like... And the dude just starts firing off on his, the guy in this passenger seat. You seen the movie? Yeah, I've seen it. He just starts... He just kills the guy. He said, like, I said no kids! That's like his... He's yeah. like, look, I'll do whatever. Just no kids. Man, that movie is... Movie's so good, so violent. Oh yeah! What an angry man! All oh, that cocaine. <sighs> you filthy cock. The scene that sticks out in my head is when they chop they chop up the guy in the bathtub in the yep. hotel with the chainsaw. <sighs> man, the movie's crazy. Yeah. Scarface, Al Pacino. But go ahead. What is your Cappuccino. number one? What did you say? Cappuccino. 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 Al Cappuccino. <laughs> Hey, if I had a coffee shop, I'd name it Al Cappuccino. Like, yeah. have like a drink, Al Cappuccino. Yeah. But what are you ahead. doing? Uh, this thing keeps uh, falling. Yeah, this part right here. All right, go ahead. What's your What's your number one? My number one is Back to the Future. It's a good movie. That's <laughs> that's how. Like I said, I messed up with those two movies. Yeah. So I I love the first Back to the Future. It's the I best love it one. too. It's my favorite one. It's yeah, it's the best one. But I messed up. Everybody sure. always goes crazy over the second one because of the hoverboard and the fact that we, you know, he went to 2015 and we obviously lived through 2018, to 20, through 2015. You know what I mean? So, and like they predicted the Cubs winning the World Series. They were a few years late, but they yeah, predicted. the Cubs, the Cubs win the World Series. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He said, I love to you. Oh, thank you. Back to the future. Back to the, let's go back to the past. They uh, re-released them on uh, 4K. 
Man, they look great. Yeah, Back to the Future, man. Like I said, I messed up on my list, and I'm sorry. I should have had that. Actually, we originally had it. When I originally voted on my phone, I had Back to the Future as my second one. See, that's why you should just keep it on your phone. Like I do. I like to write. Yeah, but then you mess up. I don't. I don't. Like you put Sopranos in your honorable mentions last time. No, it was number eight. Oh, what number? is it? With, uh, not eight and two get switched every week. I don't know. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, yeah. But yeah, I was saying like everybody always goes up crazy over that. Because they have followed? That's from eight days ago. Oh. Uh, oh, thank you for the follow. Really like the list. Thank you so much. They really like the list. Thank you. Well, this is our second week going live if on you, Twitch. Um, yeah, if you really liked what we talked about, we have... This is our 51st episode, so... Yeah, we have everything else on YouTube yeah. and, sp- and every podcast platform, like Spotify too, but our videos of our lists and everything are on uh, on YouTube. On YouTube, yeah. Check us out on YouTube to what, you know, you can see the rest of our list. We talk about Marvel, Star Wars, we did comedy, action. We haven't done 90s yet. We haven't done 90s yet. We should do 70s next, and then 90s. Oof, man. And then 2000s, 2010s. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. That'd be hard. That we should do be. it. Let's do it. Let's do ne- it. Next week, we'll do... We should have did 70s this week. Oh, yeah, but that's okay. Next week, we'll do 70s, and then 90s. And then we'll go 90s, too. and then from there, we'll yeah, go. Yeah, we got... Yeah, yeah. Just lots of content. Sorry. <laughs> I know. So, we normally do trivia as well. But we normally do that. It's more fun when there's like three people because I'm the one that hosts it. Yeah, man. I'm I'm just trying to prepare for our... He's on a losing streak. I've been... I've only won twice. Yeah. And I need to prepare for this special episode of Jeopardy. <laughs> so hit me with these questions, Well, I'm going to do... What questions? Oh, you didn't ask? Me. Okay. Oh, I mean, I can pull, I can pull some <sighs> trivia. No practice I can do round. some 80s movie trivia if you want. Nope. Just forget about it. I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> I don't want to lose to myself. You're going to lose to yourself. I don't want to lose to myself. You ready? You're going to lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go. Hey, if you want, bro, you could sit here next one, next time. I could sit here in the chair. I don't mind sitting there just as long as we have. Like, I, I, won't, I really want to have this stuff in the back. You All know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So next week, you can change it up. All right. Oh, you're really going to ask me questions? Yeah. You ready for this one? No. Um, I'm surprised this movie wasn't on either one of our lists. I didn't study. Or the honorable mentions. You ready? Goose, Jester, Hollywood, and Wolfman are nicknames of some flying military bros in what 1986 movie? Mm, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready? Goose, Jester, Hollywood, and Wolfman are nicknames of some flying military bros in what 1986 movie? It's an army movie, obviously. It's Yeah. It's like a military flying movie. Flying military. Air Force. So Air Force. Top Gun? Yes, sir. I've never seen that. Really? Yeah. The movie's so good. Mm-hmm. The second one, Top Gun Maverick? Oh. I'm just not a Tom Cruise fan. And so what? Just watch the movie. It's good. I can't. Just like Savannah. <laughs> No, what? <laughs> just like Savannah. I'm not. I just don't like. It. If I don't like somebody, I'm not gonna watch their movies. But even if they're good movies. All right, you ready for this? I just don't like. Tom question number three. Two? It's it's three on here. I'm asking you the you second time. Question number two. No, it's question number two for you. All right. The Empire Strikes Back hit theaters theaters during Memorial Day weekend in 1980. That same week, an iconic horror film opened but had a relatively weak opening because of its counter-programmed Star Wars, Star Wars installment. What was this Jack Nicholson starring the horror Shining. film? Yes, sir. I had that. I, as soon as you said horror, I was like, it's The Shining because it's in the 80s. He is a hater. On Tom Cruise. He it really is. I, I got two. No, like, I got look, two look, 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 I hate look, Tom Cruise. Look, 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 look. Because he's short. No. It's because he's high six. No, he's what? He's five six, taller than me. I don't know. It's I, I like look. I watched the Mission Impossible movies. Okay, those are good. Right, but yeah, they're okay. You know what? Almost made my list. Risky Business. No, the <laughs> bet. You want to know my favorite Tom Cruise movie? The Mummy. Jerry Maguire. Okay. That w- that's it. That's it. That's it. I watch love Jerry Top, Maguire. Watch Top Gun. I watch it when the hype dies down. The hype has the hype has not died down enough because you still ask me ask me about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate Tom Cruise. I just really don't like him. <laughs> All right. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate, this, hate. This one, this one, this Double one. Double hate. 
This one should be good for you because you like comedies. I love comedies. Which comedy set in Mexico stars Chevy Chase, Steve Martin, and Martian, Martin Short? Three Amigos. Yes, sir. That was that Remember? almost made my list. <laughs> that almost made my list. That movie's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's funny. Okay, I'm doing good. But I bet you if somebody was here, I'd be listening. <laughs> yeah, you w- yeah, you would be. <laughs> Somehow Akeem would get these right. Are right, you ready for this one? Yes, yeah, sir. Movie set in 83 about a rival gang in Oklahoma in the 60s. Mm. Stars Tom Cruise, Matt Dillon, Patrick Swayze, and Emilio Estevez. Oh, it's The Outsiders. There you go. That's on my list. I, I know. I was going to see if you're going to get it right Is Tom Cruise really in that movie? Yes, he is. <laughs> is, he, is he like in Emilio Estevez's gang? He probably is. Nah, nah. There's no way. <laughs> I can't like that movie anymore. Why? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta treat this list like WWE. Erase it. Just no. never talk about it. Yeah, man, he's in that movie. Timothy Cruz. <laughs> All right, I got my next question ready for you. Hold on. It's what another is- Tom Cruise movie. Yeah, but you probably seen it. Is that Tom Cruise right there? You can't mistake that nose. That's Tom. Tom yeah, it's Tom Cruise. That's when he had bad teeth. Dang, I really liked him in that movie. <laughs> now you gotta watch every Tom Cruise movie he's ever made. Even I guess the mummy. I like two more. Even I, the Mummy. I, no, no, okay. You gotta watch the. No, you didn't even like that movie. That movie's garbage. We already know. I only liked it for the girl who played the Mummy. That's it. Sophia Nutella. Sophia Nutella. Sophia Nutella. All right, you ready for this one? Sure. You've probably seen it, and it has Tom Cruise. (laughs) Charlie Babbitt abducts his older brother Raymond from a Cincinnati assisted living facility as the start of what road tripping '80s Best Picture Oscar winner? I don't know this one. Rain Man. Rain Man. Yeah, (laughs) I I had that in my head. I just did not want to. I was just like, I, it's Rain Man. This guy is just asking me nothing but Tom Cruise questions now. I mean, he was the '80s. <sighs> he no, he was not the '80s. Are you ready for this one? You probably seen this one. Is Tom Cruise in it? No. Oh, okay. This is a box office gross. What 1986 film is the highest grossing Australian movie of all time? Australian. Think about it. Australian, '80s. Steve Irwin. Uh, it's not Crocodile Dundee. Yes, it is. No way, Yes, it dude. is. <laughs> what? The original Crocodile Dundee? Yeah, bro. 1986. Uh, that's not Steve Irwin. I'm, I'm just giving but you yeah, hints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, Australia? I'm like, in my head, I'm like, there's nothing else out there but Crocodile Dundee. There you go. That's that's weird. Crocodile Dundee's good. I can't believe Tom Cruise is in this movie. <laughs> he, was on the, he was on the... He was on the gang. He was in the gang. Let's have a look. That's uh, he's from Karate Kid. Yeah, Pony Boy. Pony Boy. Pony Boy. All right. Which '80s movie was the highest-grossing film of the decade? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's a that's a tough question. It's both on our. It's on. It's on both of our lists. Let's take a guess. Back to the Future. No. E.T. Uh, oh, I was going to say that next, man. <laughs> All right, so I, I think we're, I, I got how many right? Six out of six out of eight? Something like that. Okay, cool. I won. Which 80s movie was Alan Rickman first feature film? Uh, I, I don't know that one. You don't? Professor Snape. I don't know that one. Die Hard. He's a villain. He is. Wow. Okay. <laughs> My brain starts to. My brain is not thinking right now. Which '80s movie spawned six sequels and a TV series? <laughs> this is a comedy. Six sequels and a TV series? Yes, they are. They're all comedies. Give me one actor from it. Ooh. One actor. Mm-hmm. Let me look him up. Tom Cruise. No, he's not in this. I'm surprised. Um, Michael Winslow. Okay, you gave me somebody I don't know. Right. Steve Guttenberg. Hey, I know you. You don't know? Uh-uh. Police Academy. That is a good movie. Like I said, I lost. You're making me lose now. <laughs> now I'm not getting anything right. Which 80s movie 
was the first to become a hit largely due to MTV? I don't know. Flashdance. All right, I think we lost. That, that, that's it. We end there. <laughs> the trivia ends there. I don't need any more. It ends there? Yeah. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? What movie is that from? I don't know. Indiana Jones. That is true, yes. <laughs> and that's Raiders of the Lost Ark as well. But yeah. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. It's on both of our lists. <laughs> Think about it. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Ghostbusters. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You know right. who said it? Bill Murray. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's it. No more. That's it? I'm trivia out. <laughs> I don't want to lose to myself. You did pretty good. Yeah. Seven. I was like seven and four. Something like that. Yeah, I almost lost. <laughs> it's too close. Well, we'll see how you do on the... Uh... So what's the, what's the... You got a movie of the week? Um, I don't. I mean, I can pick one off the list. Yeah, pick one. Pick your favorite one off your list. Uh, Not your favorite one, but you know, one that you would want to. Let's go with Aliens. All right, it's a classic movie of the week. Aliens. Yeah, check it out. Watch it. If you've seen it, watch it again. Just make sure you got nothing in your chest. (laughs) Definitely. Don't let anything jump on your face. So, Back to the Future was number one for you, and Scarface was number one for me. Scarface was number one for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, come on, come on. I knew it was going to be on your list. Cuban, Cuban. Yeah. This is Brazil. <laughs> but yes. That was, we went through that pretty quick. We did. It, you know, do you have a dad joke, by the way? I don't. That's okay. I kind of gave a dad joke. Like, it was like, I just threw it in there. Oh. Randomly. I probably, I never, I missed it. I never caught it. It was like a joke. I don't know. I forget. It was like a. It was like you said it. And I just made a joke about it. Oh. So, but yeah, bro. That was. I think. I think that's it for now. I mean, it was a good episode. Oh, it was. For sure. I agree. So I guess what next week we're gonna do seventies. Yep. Yeah, next we're week we're gonna talk about our top ten favorite seventy movies. Yeah. Our seventy top tens. <laughs> and we'll be live on YouTube, Twitch, and uh, yeah, we'll. Yeah, we're gonna do these uh decade. I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I think so. 2010 is going to be nothing but Marvel and Terry and Harry Potter. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Like the mid, like the early, like the mid 2000s. Yup, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but thank you guys, everybody. Thank you guys. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys and everybody. Thank, thank you, guys. you, everybody, guys. Brazil. <laughs> thank you guys for uh, tuning in to the Let's Be Real podcast. I'm Tyler, and that's uh, Juan. DC Mo. You can uh, catch us on uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram. Uh, Twitch now, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google YouTube. Podcasts, all them places. All them places and thanks. We'll, we'll catch you next week. <laughs> yeah, we'll catch you next we'll week. Catch you next week. Love and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. And thank you guys for tuning in. All right. Have a good night, guys. You're welcome.